Hi, this is Roland from PMI JCM Realty Group, where we manage properties from an asset management perspective. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic that was near and dear to my heart. And that topic is how to increase your rent without losing your existing tenants. Um, I say it's near and dear to my heart because at PMI JCM Realty Group, we manage properties from an asset management perspective. So our whole goal is to manage your property like it's a hedge fund, right? So you want to reduce your expenses as much as we can while making sure that you're getting the best ROI possible. And in order to get the best ROI possible, you have to increase rents because naturally inflation occurs. And then when inflation occurred, the value of whatever you have today will be less tomorrow. So you have to increase your rent year over year to meet those um, inflation every pressures. Also, year after year, um, without fail, the market is going to change. Sometimes the market stays flat and your rents in the area does not increase, but most often than not, the rent in your area does increase. And for most rental property owners, the biggest issue that they have in my experience and the reason why they lose the most money is because they do not do any marketing analysis. They don't know what the value of their rents are and they fail to increase their rents year over year. I have an example where I lived in a property in Wesley Chapel for five years. And for those entire five years, the rent that I paid was $1,300. Now, while I appreciated that, um, I didn't get any increase in my rent over that time. That um, rental property owner who self-managed the property um, did lose quite a bit of money. The actual rent rate for that property that I was living in was about $2,000. So they were losing about $700 a month by not raising their rent rates, right? And that's something that, um, you know, myself or any credible property manager could have helped them with. Um, but unfortunately, they did not have a property manager. And so they lost the that that um, rental income and it probably impacted their, their ROI, which probably let them to, led them to sell the property um, not too long ago. So. I say all that to say today, what I want to talk to you about is how you can increase your rents so that you don't lose quality tenants like myself or anyone else that you're renting your property to as a rental property owner. And yes, property managers do rent properties. I mean, why wouldn't we? It's a business that we're in. We think it's a good business to be in. So why wouldn't we take part in it ourselves? So now let's go ahead and um, let me talk to you about the five tips. Um, I believe it's five. Yep. As there's five tips that I'm going to provide to you um, where we're going to talk about how to increase your rents seamlessly um, without losing your existing tenants. And so um, the first tip that I want to give you is, you know, you need to make sure that you have incremental increases so you can um, avoid the element of surprise. You know, if your tenants are expecting a rental increase, then they will not be shocked or be surprised by it when it does occur. Um, sometimes you may want to have that conversation year over year with your, um, with your tenants. Other times you may just want to put it in the lease um, that at least renewal, your rent may go up from anywhere from one to 8%, um, which is average in the industry. I mean, you have to make sure that you, you're reasonable with it. But if you have the built-in increases with your rent through either in the lease or you discuss it with your um, tenant year over year and you do a marketing analysis to show them the benefits, um, what they're getting as opposed to what's in the market, um, it tends to be okay. So make sure you, you pay attention to that and you do incremental increases so you can um, avoid the element of surprise. The second tip that I want to um, give you is keep the increases um, reasonable, right? And so just because the market has changed dramatically and the rent in the area has gone up by $500 doesn't mean that you should raise your rent by $500. Me as a general rule, I don't raise the rents any more than one to 8%, depending on the market and depending on um, the tenant, right? But I'll always raise the rates if the market does allow for that. If the rates remain flat, then I won't raise the rate rent um, on the tenant. I just keep the same market rate and um, and move forward with the new lease with the tenant. But the key here is to make sure that you keep the um, increases reasonable. Um, you show your tenants the value um, about what the current rents are in the market compared to what 
they're going to be paying and they'll gladly pay for the stay to stay in your property if they're getting you know good value from you and they recognize that moving anywhere else is going to be more expensive anyway the third tip is um raise the rents in accordance with a major property upgrades and so if you are putting in new um, kitchen appliances a patio a fence in the backyard for a fido um you know, that's a reasonable conversation to have and say, hey, we're doing quite a bit of imp improvements for, for the property. And with those improvements, um, we are going to be raising the rents to, um, to, to accommodate that increase in um, cost that is, that is happening, right? So, um, and, and typically if you're, when you're providing value like that, tenants do not complain. So if you're making a major property upgrade, even though, you know, something that the property requires, right? Um, using that as a um, rationale for increasing the rent definitely won't raise an outbreak to the tenant and they'll be glad to stay for that additional um, service that you're providing because you're, you're adding more value to them by adding those, those different components to the property. The fourth tip that I wanna give you is um, communication, 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 right? Um, and sometimes, you know, first time, rental property owners get a little anxiety even you know bringing that, that topic up of rent increases because they fear of losing their tenants altogether um but you know rent increases are the best way um to make sure that you're that you're getting the value from um the property and it's best implemented when there's a constant communication throughout the entire landlord rental relationship as we stated earlier you want to have increments of increases um, but you want to make sure that you are communicating consistently with your tenant. Um, your new tenant, you tell them, you know, how you run your property and inform them that there's a possibility of increase at some point when the lease renewals, if you um, let them know, you know, at the time of lease renewal, right? And if you have it in your lease agreement, you won't have, um, you won't have an issue with raising the rent, right? So make sure you communicate, communi communi communicate, communicate, and you know, do more communication, right? You can never over communicate. When it comes to um, raising the rents, when it comes to money, you know, the more you communicate, the easier it'll be for, um, for everyone else. Um, and another thing that you may wanna do is, you know, find values in other areas. And this is the last tip that I'm gonna give you on this topic. You know, there are a lot of local, um, regional, statewide, and other mun municipality um, regulations due to the pandemic. And so over the last year, um, a lot of landlords were unable to increase their rents in certain areas because of the financial hardship to renters. And so finding creative ways and finding ways to add values to increase the monthly rent um, definitely helps um, when it comes to making sure that you don't lose your tenants and you are reasonable in your um, in your rent increases, right? So consider um, renewal discounts, consider allowing tenants to make incremental monthly e increases over pay, monthly increases over time. Be very flexible right now, particularly during the pandemic. Um, and, you know, your tenants will recognize that and appreciate it. If you still need help with developing a better strategy for managing rent increases, let us help. Um, we have a ton of experience in this area, as I noted to you before, me as a renter. Um, I've given you an example of how um, my former landlord lost a lot of money by not increasing rent, and that's something we definitely want you to avoid as a self-managed um, property owner. We are constantly driven to keep Tampa rental property owners in the know about the latest real estate investing news in the area. Tap into the uh, most up-to-date insights by signing up for our free webinar where we review how to streamline your rental property portfolio for maximum growth. This is a critical topic of discussion that you don't want to miss. Not only will we discuss this topic in our webinar, we'll also teach you how to guarantee your rent even if the tenant doesn't pay. We'll show you how we um, provide funding for um, landlords to pay for um, items that emergency items that come up without them having to take a loan or things or money having to come out of their pocket. We'll show you how to get any issues or any um, issues or any damages that the tenant caused paid, um, even if you don't have a security deposit. So, so this 
webinar is jam-packed with a lot of information that'd be very useful to you um, and can help you um, get a better return on your investment. So um, click on the link in the article to, to um, schedule um, a time to join that webinar. You can also join the conversation with other like-minded property owners as part of our Facebook group. Um, learn to share tips and invest the best practices and fresh ideas for other savvy rental property owners. If you're interested in more tailored advice specific to your particular investment strategy, choose a time and um, put a meeting on my calendar and let's connect. You can, you can also reach out to me directly um, through my email at rcharles at pmigcmworldy.com. You can reach me on phone at 813-333-9617. And of course, you can always go to my website at, R, um, at pmijcmrealty.com. Thank you for being with me today and have a great day.